Hello, uh, my name is Wai Wai An. Uh, I'm a faculty at the Center for CNET, CNET, and IUNI, and Informatics. Uh, I'll talk about data science for the future work and how to the epidemic. So I think uh, I'm using uh, network science, machine learning, and visualization, and other techniques. Now I can conveniently call them as a data science. Uh, <laughs> to various problems. And these days, uh, I'm, I'm really interested in these two problems. The first one is uh, future work. And thanks, Kati, for <laughs> having the introduction. For a society, it's really important to provide enough jobs for the people, right? But we have uh, this problem of this wave of automation that may replace a lot of people, a lot of jobs. And it's happening, it's happening right now. And that means there'll be about 3 million jobs kind of vanishing in the near future. And this may be just tip of the iceberg because automation is not only for the driving, but all kinds of industries. So the question is, what will be the future work and how can we prepare our society or ourselves and I think we need these three things, at least. First, the map, how industries are organized and how people are, how industries are connected and how people can move between industries. And then the forecast, which industries are growing or changing or declining. And then the tools we need to go to certain industries. So if you have those, we can kind of retrain people or, uh, create better education policy and react to the change. So we teamed up with uh, LinkedIn and we've been analyzing this network of uh, labor flow. So that means how people move between companies and organizations, industries and regions. So if you move between companies, we connect those companies based on that movement and you can see those maps. Uh, for instance, this is uh, Silicon Valley IT companies, and you can clearly see different types of companies organized into clusters. And this is uh, the map of basically the global industry. So we can see all kinds of geographical clusters as well as um, kind of industry-based clusters. And once we know these clusters, like these geo-industrial clusters, we can examine which clusters are growing or declining based on like whether educated population is going into the industry or coming out of the industry. And from this, we can also look at the skill set that is important in growing industries and those skill sets that are kind of declining in this uh, growing industries. So uh, this is, I think, very beginning of uh, this new perspective of looking at these industries as a networks. And we hope to get a better picture of the future work and how can we prepare for it. And the second problem is the opioid crisis. And as you may well know about it, uh, US is suffering from opioid crisis. And it is really bad because it's one of the worst health crises in US. It, uh, it's more than uh, peak uh, car accidents, more than HIV, like, yeah, n you name it. So the question is how, what can we do to stop this opioid crisis? Uh, so here, uh, we are again trying to combine network science and machine learning to study opioid crisis. Uh, basically, we have uh, prescription data across 10 years of period and we want to create the network between patients and doctors connected by opioid prescriptions. And we will apply network analysis and machine learning to predict uh, and identify doctor shopping behaviors as well as overdose. So if we can do that, we can implement better uh, intervention strategies uh, and better health policies. And that's it. And thank you very much.